Welcome to this series of videos about functional programming in Kotlin with Arrow. In this video, we're going to learn the basic notions of higher kinds and type classes. A type class is an interface we use to describe abstract behaviors that affect multiple data types. Aero provides most of the fundamental functional programming type classes in the Aero Type Classes module. Some of these type classes are semigroup, monoid, functor, monad. We will go over each one of those in other videos. A type class is declared in Aero using the type class annotation and the TC marker interface. As we can see here, a type class is always parametric to at least one type argument, which is the data type that the abstract behavior operates over. We can define concrete instances of the type class targeting a given data type with the instance annotation. In this case, this k is the target data type. We can see here how we are expressing how two different list k values can be combined together. Once an instance is declared for a given type class, in this case the semigroup for list k, we can use the semigroup syntax to combine list k values. Type classes allows us to create programs that are polymorphic. That means they can operate over many data types. In this case, we have defined an Uber combined operation that is entirely polymorphic and we can use it with the concrete data type list k because we've provided previously an instance for it. With Dagger2, we have compile time verification of the injected type class instances. Aero provides a Dagger2 ready module with all of the Aero instances ready to be used. With the Aero Dagger module, we can achieve tagless final style architectures where all of our constraints are injected in our services. Most type classes come with built-in syntax that we can use to achieve direct access to the operations of the type class over the types they decorate. Here we can see kind f of unit as resultant type of the function. This means that this is a polymorphic context and the operation will be encapsulated in any context of f. That might be an option, a list, a promise, or whatever we make concrete at the edge. In this video, we learn about type classes and higher kinds and how we can use it to write programs with error. In the next series of videos, we learn more about the specific type classes we use in functional programming. Thanks for watching.